Sir, we have noticed certain things have begun to make their way into your bag. My bag? I'm not carrying a bag. You know what I am talking about. Oh, oh, this? That, that's just my phone. Uh, I don't know why it's in my waistband, but yeah, not feeling. What was that? Oh, we thought it was shoplifting. From show to strew. That's what I said. Does he think that we are broke or something? Like, I would never steal from this dump. Have you found anything to buy? No, have you? No, but lunch is ready. Thank you for coming to lunch. Now, if you would allow us to tell you about our Chodstrom Influencer Program. Maybe you should join their Influencer Program. Get free clothes. Nah, I bet it's multi-level marketing. Besides, my days of making fashion videos are behind me. I'm all about that music now. How's that working out? Fine. It's going good. I'm booking more shows. Huh, okay. Oh well. Do you have FC chickens? Honestly, if my foot chicken ain't dry as hell, I don't want it. No, seriously. If it does not turn into literal sawdust in my mouth, I do not want it. Swafford, does Roger want you to bring him FC chicken? I think so, but he's still at underground pottery. I'm not walking all the way to the bottom of the cave with a fucked chicken. Oh my god, it's bone dry. This is just perfect. Time for the gym. Yep. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Looking good. Yup. I'm gonna be Arnold Jacked in no time. Don't get too optimistic. Is somebody crying? Are you okay? No. I am so fat. Well, that's what Fitness Planet is for. Monetizing your insecurities while abstracting all of the joy out of the natural human pleasure of exercise. Wait a second, you're not fat, you just have a super big rib cage. Really? Yeah, you're skinny with the deep as hell rib cage. It just makes your shirt stick out. You're not just saying that. No, I'm not just saying that. It's very, very true. Bluey and I could surgically switch your rib cages so you could see what that's like. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Wait, you guys actually did it? Yup. Yeah. That is crazy impressive. Stand up. Try him out. Wow. This is crazy. That guy really did have a crazy wide rib cage. I mean, I feel like I have a chest in my chest. Wookie! Hella! Look at me! So slim! So trim! You know, you're also taller than me, so my ribcage looks even better on you than it does on me. Yeah, and mine looks even worse on your shortness! Oh, hella! I'm six feet tall! Look! That's what they all say! Is that in 1971 inches? Ugh! Hella! Ugh, we've got to switch them back, it's giving him an ego! Alright, lie down and we will commence anesthesia. Count ten and you will fall asleep. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero... I'm still awake! Give it a second. Okay, I just don't want to be awake while you, you know, remove my ribcage! Listen, just try to fall asleep. If you don't go through with this operation, you will regret it for the rest of your life. You will be stuck with that jumbo rib cage. Uh, Quiet, you. All right. Here we go. Wait, this is crazy. You guys are doing major surgery in a fitness planet. Staff is fine with it. We didn't even get any blood on the equipment last time. Fine, fine, whatever. Just give me my petite skinny ribs back. Since you're not responding to the aerosol, we will switch to intravenous. Soon you should start to hear a bass line. Okay. Mom? Dad? Did the, uh, did the operation go successfully? Thank God. 
What about the other guy? Oh my god, do you mean like he, he died or like you didn't see him wake up? Oh, okay. That scared me for a second. I deserve to survive more anyway. I need to go to Target. Can you take me to Target? I'm out of a lot of things at the apartment. What? What? No, I need to go to Target. I'll, I'll drive myself if I have to, but I don't. I bet you don't want me to do that. I've just been under anesthesia for like 12 hours. <laughs> good, good. Hey, hey I, I hear the Minecraft music now, but I don't really know what to believe.